Before we start the plait, I wanted to show you a little tip. If you have the hitch up next to the head of the bobbin, then when you pull the bobbins so that you have tension against the bobbins, they're all at about the same length and you won't have as much give and take in them. In order to begin the plait, we need to do a cloth stitch. That's a cross, twist, cross. So we're going to do a cross, twist, cross, and tension. You always do a cloth stitch at the beginning of every plait. The plait then continues with twist, cross, tension. So it's twist, cross, tension. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Twist, cross, tension. Outside, inside, outside, inside. Twist, cross, tension. Out, in. Twist, cross, tension. Notice, I do not want to cover up the pico mark. If I cover that up, that means my plait is too long and it will get, gather up and get bumpy. So we now need to complete a pico. Picots come in with different numbers of twists, depending upon the type of thread. This is a fairly thick thread, so we're we are going to use five twists. But this is an experimental piece. There are three circles here, and each circle will have a different number of twists. But first, they will all have five twists. So you take the right-hand pair, and you one, two, three, four, five twists. Move those twists so they're a little bit closer to the other pair. Pick up whatever you're going to use as your pin for your pico. If you use a very tiny pin, it will have a very tiny hole. Some people consider this a nail. It is a very large pin, but it makes a nice hole so that you'll be able to see the pico. Pick up the right hand bobbin and give it some tension. Pick up your nail your pin, put it under the right hand thread, the outside thread. It's the outside thread that's most important. So I'm under the outside thread, I point it towards myself, I take it to the outside, so it's under, towards myself, and down, and into the pico hole. I'll do that, that again. And you can see it's trying to twist up all by itself. So let's do that one more time. Put tension on the outside thread, go under the thread, point towards myself, point down, outside. Notice the thread goes over and then under. So the point has the under thread, goes into the, the pico pinhole. If I give it just a little bit of tension there so it's not huge, you can see that the other thread, the inside thread, needs to do something. It goes from the outside around the pin and towards the inside without catching on a previous pin. Then I'm going to gently pull them together so that I'm creating a new, uh, actually a little knot. See how there's sort of click there? Sometimes you hear the click, but they sort of lock in place. Then this particular part of the experiment, you're going to put two twists, one, two twists on that pair. You're going to pick up the pair that we've left all by itself, turn it so it's towards yourself. Remember, in order to start a uh, plait, it's always a cloth stitch. So it's cross, twist, cross, tension. And try, try to get that as tightly tensioned as you can. Twist, cross for the plait. Twist, cross for the plait. I'm now ready to complete the second pico. I need five twists. One, two, three, four, five twists. Move it up, just up a little bit. Pick up my nail, my pin. I put tension on the outside thread. I go under the outside thread, point towards myself, and point down, staying on the outside of the thread. I go into the pico hole. I 
give it just a little bit of a pull. I like it when it's down lower. I now I'm going with the other thread, which was on the inside of that pair, around the outside of the pin and towards the inside. So now they're both around the pin. I gently tension them so that it moves down the pin. It's nice and low. And sometimes they click into position, but I want them so they don't pull apart. I don't want to make a great big pico here. I then pick up the other two pairs, the other two bobbins, the other pair, and I continue working. Remember, to do a plait, it's cross, twist, cross, in order to make a cloth stitch. Now it's twist, cross, tension. Twist, cross, tension. Twist, cross, tension. And you're going to complete one more pico. Make the next pico and work a plait until you're just about to the middle. Stop just short of the middle. 